Palm Cove. <laughs> what number of day is it today? No idea. <laughs> Welcome to our holidays. We're um, heading to Port Douglas this morning and uh, we're going to make a stop at Hartley's Crocodiles. Yeah, we're going to see crocodiles. The car is Chockers. I have to say that we've definitely learned a lot on this trip so far and uh, we need to pack a lot better next time. We probably should have put on the uh, the roof racks. Uh, we don't have a facility to put a trailer on the car, but with kids you need to be able to take all the stuff that you need, otherwise um, you're not going to be too comfortable if you don't bring everything that you need. So this is our situation at the moment. <laughs> So we're lying. First stop is actually the shops where she's gonna pick up some snacks and a plunger. It's heavy broke a plunger, so we probably will be spending more money on on takeout coffee than uh, our camping fees altogether. <laughs> driving through a World Heritage Site here. It's about 28 kilometers distance on this highway, the Captain Cook Highway. And it's a beautiful, beautiful drive to, um, to do between Cairns and Port Douglas. Some people have compared this drive to the Great Ocean Road as one of the best coastal drives in Australia. It's that beautiful. There's also been many car accidents because people are trying to look at the views and not concentrating on the road. It is a bit of a windy road, so you do have to be very careful. You shouldn't be vlogging and driving at the same time. You should not be looking <laughs> at the camera, David. <laughs> Actually, we haven't made it yet. We have to walk to the entrance. <laughs> Father of the year. Yeah. Looks pretty busy here. We've had to park in the overflow parking area, so could be a bit crowded. We'll see. So we need to go buy tickets. <laughs> Abby's running away from the crocodiles. <laughs> Big crocodile. Four meters long. Big, isn't he? Meet me. Quick, Abby, they're going to feed the crocodile. He's hungry. Quick. about 3.8 meters so it might be a little bit bigger than that now so we can estimate his weight probably around about 250 kilos he's not the biggest crocodile in the park but he's big enough to do a lot of damage he could certainly kill me at that size no problems whatsoever he's got a great name as well we called him Hagrid he's got that big head in proportion to his body yeah we handpicked him for this show because of his aggression which is what we're trying to demonstrate we're trying to demonstrate what they're capable of uh, he's a saltwater crocodile, of course, so the largest species and one of the most dangerous. They're the most widely dispersed as well. We find them all in the northern parts of Australia, throughout Southeast Asia, right across to the east coast of India. I'll demonstrate something. Bear with me. So the water's about a foot deep there, right? There you go. Oh, there you are. <laughs> There's a four-meter crocodile there. They sneak up on you really well. 
How's that? A foot deep. You saw it on the stick, right? And it gets in really close. So that's what they do, and that's how they hunt. So they'll come right up, they'll sneak in. Now, when he's under the water, the, the eyesight and the hearing and the sense of smell is not great. So he picks up on vibrations and he splashes using pressure receptors in his skin. So they're really well evolved. They're the hardest biting animal on the planet. We've all heard the jaw slap today, yeah? That loud popping sound? Nothing bites harder than crocodiles. You know, and, and Hagrid would just ruin you. If he grabbed you, you'd just explode on impact. Um, so really, really hard animals. I'll just... Um, Oh, thanks for the advice, kid. <laughs> Love getting pointers from kids in the crowd. <laughs> All your years of crocodile experience. <laughs> he is right, though. I mean, things can go wrong. That's why we've got Mick here, just in case. Make sure you all get good uh, videos. <laughs>
crocodiles they can get really up close uh, there's a lot that we didn't actually see just yet because uh, we need to get back to camp and, uh, and set it up uh, but other than that if you like what you saw give us a thumbs up and if you're new here as usual just hit that subscribe button See you next time. So we just left Harley's Adventures and we're on our way to a campsite in Port Douglas. So yes, we are camping again and no, we're not crazy. <laughs>